Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about whether 2024 Arnold Classic UK version of Samsung Daura was or wasn't his best ever. I noticed a lot of people commenting that this was in fact his best ever, so we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna compare this version of Samsung Daura to his other very good editions, and we're gonna talk about how he got there. So, 2024 Arnold Classic UK Samsung, as you guys know, placed second, and it was closer between him and Hadi, even if you don't think so, the scorecards are showing that. As you can see, Hadi Japan had 6 points, both pre-judging and the finals. In bodybuilding, judging the highest and the lowest score are erased. So 2 out of 7 judges had Hadi in 2nd, that 1 a lower score was erased. And one of those first spots was erased as well, so out of those 5 scores that are left, 4 of them were 1st and 1 of them was 2nd. So, of course, Samson got those 2 first spots, so it was closer. Two people thought Samson was winning, was the best in this show, and that's a lot. If two professional IBB judges think you are winning the show, you're beating Hadi, that's, that's pretty huge, if you ask me. That's a big improvement. That means Samson actually has a chance of beating Hadi at the Mr. Olympia if he comes in more improved, in better conditioning. His conditioning at this show was, well, it was improved from two weeks ago, but was it, you know, really that much better? Was it really his best conditioning of all time? I don't know that for sure. At the Arnold Ohio, he was pretty much off with conditioning. He was more conditioned than the Mr. Olympia 2023, but it still wasn't, even for Samson standards, very good conditioning. But he improved for Arnold UK, just like he improved last year for Romanian Prague. But, in my opinion, his best conditioning so far could have been Arnold 2023, where he won against Nick Walker. He already sorta of proved himself at the Olympia 2022, where he placed 6th, but not a lot of people saw him beating Nick Walker and winning that Arnold Classic, and when he won it, he actually showed up in much better conditioning than ever before with those new gains, and he basically shocked the world, and at that time, nobody was really criticizing his conditioning. Yeah, we thought he could improve it a little bit more and like win the Mr. Olympia, but he was actually pretty lean at that time. He wasn't holding water, he looked dry, he looked big, his quads were freaking rock hard, the separation was super super deep, and I don't think he had this kind of separation at the Arnold Ohio or Arnold UK, you're gonna see a comparison in a second. Now, as far as upper body, the reason why you could make a point of him actually looking his best at the Arnold UK is because he improved his upper body muscularity-wise. His shoulders are bigger now, his arms as well, and his back is significantly better than it was here, but I don't think he was this hard in the glutes, in the hamstrings, I don't know about the back though, I think when he added this new muscle his back just looks wider and bigger and harder now, but I think he was leaner in body fat percent at this show, look at the lats, they're showing actual separation, hamstrings as well, glutes actually looked relatively dry, so up until Arnold UK, this was my favorite version of Samson Daura, I thought here he was full, he was round, he was big, and he was actually in decent conditioning for his standards, his abdominal control was on point, he did not have any sort of bubble gut or anything like that, his posing was good as well, he was full, he was really full, but also separated and dry, overall in my opinion he looked great here. Now, let's compare this to the Arnold UK and let's see exactly what kind of improvements he made. Both videos were filmed by Gilco Productions, so it's the same camera, the same quality, the lighting seems better on the video on the left, I got the ratio off, but you know, it is what it is, you can still see some things, for example, details in the quads, like I said, it was deeper uh, in 2023, I think he was a little bit more shallow this past weekend on the video on the right, now, again, as far as the upper body improvements, I think the back does look better improved on the video on the right, and I think his back was drier, it was holding less water, but also, he seemed flatter at the Arnold Ohio, but the improvements in muscularity was drastic, his back was just so much more muscular, drier, even though he was a little bit flatter at this show, I think he was a lot bigger at the Olympia 2023, or even the Arnold, Ohio, two weeks ago, I think he was bigger, but, you know, here he was drier, yes, a little bit flatter, but definitely better conditioning, so this definitely was his best version this year, and as far as overall, his entire career, 
Yeah, I think all things considered, I think this was his best. Even though, again, his leg separation wasn't as good and I don't think he was as full as he could have been, but the combination of conditioning and muscular improvements was enough. I think this was his best ever. But is it close to his actual maximum potential? I think it is far away from his maximum potential. You know, he came up a long, long way in the past 2-3 years, working with Milos Sharchev. And he suddenly stopped working with him, and this week, he did a peak week with his wife. His wife used to prep him before he turned pro, and uh, she was the one that got him into bodybuilding as well. So, for this show, yes, he improved compared to Arnold Ohio, where he was prepped by Milos, but guys, it's only two weeks, and he didn't really do anything super drastic, he just came in a little bit sharper. And also, Fuad Abiyat said that what they did different for this show was they didn't even carb up. Samson just walked into this show the way he was, and apparently it worked out, you know, he looked good, I think he actually improved for the finals, yes, he was flatter, but I think this conditioning worked in his favor, also Hadi was a lot flatter as well, so for that reason he got those two votes from the judges to actually win this show, but guys, let's be real, I mean, Milos prepped Samson this entire prep, his wife only did that last week, peak week, how much of a difference could have that made? I mean, especially if he didn't carb up or do anything drastic, if he does the entire prep with his wife for the Olympia and comes in in his all-time best, then sure, I'd give it to her. But as for right now, it's still Milos's prep, basically. But I don't think Samson is gonna prep with his wife for the Mr. Olympia, I think he's gonna try another coach, and which coach it may be, I think there is a lot of coaches who are offering their services to Samson right now, we'll see which one Samson is gonna choose, it might be Stefan Kainz, I think that's a, that's a pretty good choice right there, but we'll see, anyways, as far as this version of Samson, yes, two of the judges thought he's actually beating Hadi, did I see it that way? Well, I thought it was closer, but... No, in the end, I thought Hadi was winning, and yeah, he deserved that victory, he got a victory, so once again, Samson needs to come in with these kind of glutes, like Hadi has. In the, in the back poses, that's like the center of the physique, everybody's gonna take a look at that, and if you see Hadi having this kind of separation, and you guys know Derek is gonna be peeled in that area, and Samson looks soft like this, it's not gonna be a good thing, so he needs to get those glutes shredded, like, all the way, and also he can't come in flat, it is a size game as much as it is a conditioning game, and look at Hadi here, I mean, he is shredded, but he's also big, even though he was flat at this show, he still doesn't lack any muscle, really, he has it all, basically, he's very complete, uh, aside from forearms, maybe, and, like, calves, but who cares about those two body parts, also, he has a very good abdominal control, even though he's a little bit blockier, he has a great vacuum, so it makes for a great weed taper, so if Samson wants to win the Mr. Olympia, he needs to come in in definitely much better conditioning, but also, he needs to be big and full, but as far as muscular improvements, I don't think he needs to do a whole lot, I think he's pretty much there, his back came up a lot, his shoulders and arms as well, yeah, sure, he can get bigger, and I believe he will get bigger, but but he needs a coach who he's actually gonna listen to, who's gonna get him shredded, but also keep him big. However, the thing I'm worried about right now is whether Samson is gonna recover mentally. Here is what his stories are looking like the day after the show. He's gonna go on a vacation, he's gonna eat a lot of food. Look at this English breakfast, damn, it looks delicious, actually. And I'm in the middle of my off-season, but this looks great. Anyways, he's gonna relax, he's gonna have some downtime, but how much? Mr. Olympia is happening soon, and this year it's earlier, it's in October. So really, if Samson wants to come in peeled, he only has a couple of months, tops, to relax, is that gonna be enough? Will Samson be able to push himself to the new limits in only 2-3 months? I don't know about that, guys. Maybe it would be better for him if he took a year off. He's not gonna do that, he's qualified for the Mr. Olympia, he's gonna compete, but really, if he wanted to come in next level conditioned, he would truly need an actual break, like a longer break, because I don't know if he's gonna be able to push it, to really push it, to do those three hours of cardio or whatever it takes to get that next level conditioning, will he be able to do it with only two, three months of rest? 
I don't know. You guys tell me down below, what do you think? And tell me, what do you think? Is Arnold Classic UK Samsung best version ever? Whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more stuff like this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.